Hi everyone, today I just wanted to talk about toys and resources um, and which ones you're using and what you've got in the cupboard. And if you're doing it by teletherapy, which resources would be really useful to have on at, at hand, you know, the physical resources, and which ones, you know, you think you should have on your screen? So those are really good questions. And you're probably thinking, oh, I've got loads of resources in the cupboard. Now, I know when you're dealing with face-to-face um, -face clients, um, it's very different from doing it online. So in your cupboard, you've probably got tons of resources. I bet you've got puzzles and um, you've got um, games and board games and um, cuddly toys and, um, I don't know, loads of interactive and reward games and I, I imagine that you're bursting with those sort of resources especially uh, even flashcards and things like that so one thing I wanted to say to you is that actually since I've been doing teletherapy I've given away or I've um, cut down quite a lot of my resources um, I've sold quite a few of my uh, resources from my cupboard um, because I just do teletherapy, that's all I do. Um, and I didn't feel I needed so many physical toys. Um, but I know that some of you probably have got some really um, lovely, loved toys. And um, I can think of one that I've got, which um, is a stamp one. You can just see it up here. And it's a really good resource because, you know, um, the child can actually tell you what to stamp you know whether it's the elephant or whether it's a cow or monkey or whatever and um they can tell you what to draw and you can put the monkey um and the elephant in different places maybe on top of the tree or under the tree or whatever it is um so it's, it's a really really good resource but you know how would you use that sort of resource online well i have actually used that resource online um and there are other physical resources that you can do use online um, and it's just knowing how to be creative now some of you might be thinking yeah but you know actually I work with adults um, I predominantly work with stroke patients or um, adults um, with some sort of neurological difficulty um, or maybe I work with adults with a, a learning disability um, all those sort of things and how can I make my resources relevant for them um, because maybe you're using a, an AAC device or a, a symbol chart or something like that so obviously you need to be able to make it relevant and age appropriate for those sort of adults um, so again don't don't worry about it you can still use those resources online um, and I wanted to just share that with you because um, that's something I have done. I've worked with adults with learning disabilities. I've run social skills groups with adults, you know. So those things are still possible to do online. And um, if you are sort of lacking in that creativity and you're thinking, I'm just not sure how I'm going to use that particular toy online or um, I'm not sure what sort of PDFs or um, online resources I can put on say videos or whatever I'm not sure what's going to work with these these kids then you know you need a bit of support in that so book a clarity call with me and I can tell you how um, I can support you in that in that creativity process to develop your resources for your clients the link is down below